Microsoft GI would like to thank our sponsors. Well, John, it is nice to see you here again. Um, yeah, we go back a long time, all the way back to Line Clause 1. Yeah, yeah, I still remember. I think, didn't you like need a parental consent form? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Way back yeah. then? Yeah, I, I was definitely <laughs> still in high school for that. But I mean, I thought that was really cool to me because like, it felt like Airsoft came to me because that event was in Bakersfield, California. And that's my hometown. And, you know, it's, that was actually my local paintball field. Yeah. So I remember, yeah. yeah, I remember there were like a couple events or at least like one of the scenarios where we, we had to run up on this castle. And I was yes. going to tell McKnight, I was like, we don't get there first. We're not getting in there. Right. Like, it's going to be a big <laughs> ass problem. But. Yeah, that was a fun game, and I mean, how like I'm, I was always kind of curious, like what that was like for you, just like kind of trying to run that. Oh my God, I mean, it's number one logistics and finance and everything else was a nightmare because do you remember that 12 years ago this was infancy? Um, definitely, airsoft was in its infancy, and there were no so-called airsoft fields, and all the paintball people never heard of airsoft, or they didn't like it, or they didn't yeah. like it. Yeah. I mean, I went to every single field and gave out these. Xerox papers and say Operation Lion Claws. Hmm. And people are like, what is that, loin cloth? Do you have to be 21 to participate? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and I, you know, understandable. I mean, they have no idea what it was. Um, nobody believed I could get Colonel Danny McKnight to do this. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I remember I heard that. I was like, what? Oh my God, I just saw Black Hawk Down. Yeah, that was probably, I mean, that was really <laughs> cool. and. I mean, I had actually just read a book about the LERPs, long, uh, long range reconnaissance. Uh huh. Patrols. Yes. So meeting Ken Miller Ken was Miller. almost just as cool. <laughs> yeah. And like, I remember, I remember seeing him run through the foliage there, mm -hmm. and a lot of that was dry brush mm -hmm. and not a sound. Yeah. Missed all the trip wires. Like that gentleman. Like in addition to Colonel McKnight, was just so awesome. Yeah. So it, it was just. Man, I mean, the truth is we really all started with paintball a long time ago. Yep. Like yep. a lot of us old timers all did. And uh, what really got me intrigued was Vietnam. Yeah. And Vietnam scenario game, uh, we ran that for one season at SC Village. And in fact, our first game, Dennis, the owner, uh, came out to ref himself. Because really? I had Ken Miller. And I had uh, Major uh, Greenberry Major Jim Morris. Oh, really? Um, I don't know if you recall Operation Dumbo Drop. Yeah. That was roughly based on his actual mission. You're kidding. So Jim Morris wrote a book, War Story, about you know Green Berets in <laughs> Vietnam and all that kind of stuff. So he's very well known in the uh, Vietnam community. So it was Jim Morris versus Ken Miller. That has to be legit. It it, it was fun, but Damn. you know it was paintball, and you know back then people didn't have the right uniform. Or they simply won't show up. Yeah. Um, so we did a couple of times. I was like, you know, we'll call it quits. And then when Airsoft came along and I saw all the guns, I was like, God, this is cool. Oh, yeah. yes. Now everything looks real. Yeah, yeah. no. It's definitely, I remember playing paintball. I mean, it was like this faux realism of just like, <laughs> I mean, the way we call it now is like, oh, there's unicorn poop on the ground because all the paint is everywhere. But yeah. But yeah, it was definitely like they were trying to get like the half assed version of Mill Sims. So. Yeah. Like they yeah. used to have like those D-Day games where they go across the river, ramp would come down, uh -huh. and then everyone just get covered in paint. Yeah, so. yeah. But and the paint bar was kind of like, ah, you know, I hate to get into a car and since everything is greasy and, yeah. and all that stuff. But uh, when Airsoft came along, I mean, it, it all really was all by chance, as you probably recall. And a lot of you out there um, who was knowing line calls for a long time, you probably remember, it was a dare and a joke. I was having lunch with Walter, Airsoft <laughs> GI Walter, CEO, and, uh, uh, an old name in the industry, James Ty of uh, old uh, Airsoft Elite. I guess they, I don't know if they still exist, but. Uh, I don't believe Airsoft Elite still yeah. exists, but I, I, don't, I could be wrong. I apologize, yeah. I could be wrong. So. But James was a good friend, and uh, Walter was working for James at the time. Yep. And all three of us were having lunch, and I lost all my business as a result of 9-11. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. we're joking, they're like, hey, you know, why don't you get Colonel McKnight to do uh, Airsoft? I was like, what are you guys retarded? I'm I not going to yeah. ask a military hero to play soldier. What the hell is wrong with you? And the both of them look at me like, dude, you got nothing. Why not give it a shot? Nothing to lose. So yeah. Who cares? And that was making fun of them. I said, well, since Airsoft is such an Asian thing, so what are we going to come up with a kung fu name? Like, you know, Tiger, Paul, Lion, Claws. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> That's like, how it came I guess, about. <laughs> I guess if I'd heard, like, Tiger Claws, I would have been like, all right, Possibly Asian, but Lion Claws, I don't know why it didn't seem as much. But but uh, I, I thought I remember some of the stories like you were going to call it Lion Claw, and then like Walter or Lily were yeah. like, like, no, Lion Claws. No, this is what plural. happened. <laughs> we were talking about Lion Claw. 
Walter had to go to the bathroom. And this is the <laughs> as he's and he, as he came back to the bathroom, he said, "Shouldn't we call it lion claws? Shouldn't the lion has more than one claw?" Well, that's pretty awesome. You know what guys come up with when they go shishi? You never know. Shishi. <laughs> is, that, is that Chinese for bathroom visit or poop or something? Uh, no, it's a baby talk. We talk to our dogs that way. Okay, <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. I thought I, was, thought I was learning Mandarin or something, but I guess, <laughs> like, guess not. Come on, okay. you got to go shish your poo-poo. Oh. Don't you talk to your dogs and your kids that way? Come on. I don't know. I don't know. Um, well, but if you're not, your parents probably talk to you that way still. Touche, touche. <laughs> Back orders blow, which is why we use inventory technology to help us maintain a nearly perfect fill rate for all orders placed on our website. 